Continuing more from the book Revealing America's Dark Skin Past, Volume 1, to the ways of the white people. From the 18th century until nearly through the 20th, archaeology handled the mounds quite poorly, leading to two centuries worth of the slaughter of the mounds. Until the 1940s, archaeologists and hobbyists, it was sometimes hard to tell the difference, ripped the mounds open for a little more than idle curiosity's sake. After the Creek War in 1836, removal of the Creek Native American inhabitants began in Georgia, ejecting them from the Okmulgee Mountain village and from Native American ancestral land which covered much of Georgia. By early 1837, over 14,000 Creeks had been removed to Oklahoma. By 1840, large oak trees were being cut down off the mounds for timber and much of the mound site was turned into a plantation. By 1843 a railroad was being cut through the mound site destroying part of the Lesser Temple Mound. In 1874 a second huge cut for a railroad still in use is was excavated through the mound area and destroyed a large portion of the funeral mound. According to Charles C. Jones in his book, Antiquities of the Southern Indians, many relics and human burials were removed during this work. In 1876, it was a Sabbath pastime to open Indian mounds in the forenoon and in the afternoon to shoot the skulls, thus obtained full of holes as a test of marksmanship. Hundreds of burial mounds located in the great central valleys were ruthlessly ransacked and left partly destroyed by scholars and vandals alike. Big Mound at Cahokia, what was once one of the largest burial mounds in the United States, standing at 30 feet high and 300 feet long, took years to dismantle. Local residents, like most United States citizens, considered Native American mounds as convenient sources of dirt, most dirt being utilized as field dirt for roads or for railroad beds. There was formerly a large five-sided mound on the Okanofti River in the Birdtown section of the North Carolina Cherokee Reservoir. Its town site was gradually destroyed by development in the middle to late 20th century. In Philadelphia, PA, a very large temple mound was utilized as a reservoir to supply water to the residents of the city. Today, the Philadelphia Museum of Art sits atop this massive mound. Most Native American mounds of the United States today are barely noticed. Many are covered over from decades of neglect.